Is this it? Is this small thing it? Popoto! B is for brilliant. Hello! Ah, I found you at last! Uda Baba! You, my good madam, were born to be a star. I mean, yes, I'm a bard. What's the point? What's what's your point? <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I am Metem, head of strategic management at Ascension Arcadia, the premier enterprise for entertainment in Solution 9. Our flagship facility is the Arcadian, a combat arena, and it is there that we host the Ascension Arcadia Championships. It is the pinnacle for fighters in Alexandria, and I want you to be among them. Bet. You know I'm a god killer, right? It's a bad idea. As you may have heard, circumstances forced us to close the arena's doors for a time, but the time is right to reopen them. Her Majesty's tragic passing, which I was not at all responsible for because Wuklamat stole my thunder, uh, our citizens disconsolate by providing them with gripping entertainment. It is our hope to help them forget their care uh, cares for a while. Hell yeah! Where do I sign? The President of the Federation has marked you to be the Arcadian's next great star. Oh, I love this. I already love this plot line because it's like the fucking uh, glitz pit in fucking uh, Thousand Year Doors. Like, you! Gonzalez, go! I, that sounds fun as fuck. I love how she's like, not buying it though. <laughs> For your part, you will naturally be well compensated. The finest equipment Solution 9 has to offer awaits you after each and every victory. Do they give me ass? Better, cool glams. Ooh! With that, I bid you farewell for now. I should look forward to a favorable response. Are you the skewiest because you're King Kimation, or are you King Kimation because you're the skewiest? First one! Vamos a romper platos! I swear to God, this is what my PC back in Mexico looks like. Your PC was filled with falafels. Yes. You came by! By this, I took it you will fight in the Arcadian. Dude, I have nothing else to do. And I'm not gonna go hang out with Wukla again, so I'm in. I love you to be the first to welcome you to the fold. Now then, I shall explain to you. Hold on, what kind of cool loot do I- Oh. <gasps> Are these the fighters that I'm gonna go up against? Oh! D. No, if Wukla comes in to cheer me on, that would actually be super sweet. I love her! Fellow cat. Por que me barres, culera? Hmm, you look like you've got some fight in you, I suppose. Still, you can only be so strong without being a soul shifter. You wouldn't last long against any of us. I am a soul shifter, in a way. Well, aren't you just a tree? I look forward to meeting you on stage. Is this the bee? I heard that there's a boss that was bee-themed. You're a puny candle before my roaring flame! Oh, this one's my favorite. Make it make it to me and I'll blast you out of the ring. I like that one. Dude, the Miko's super hot, though. Lyria's gay raider just popped off. These are some of our fighters you will face. They're all <clears throat> characters. So am I, as you can see, but I hope you do not take offense at their words. Consider it their way of welcoming you. Oh, I'm so excited. This is giving me Heaven's Arena. Speaking of ranks, the fighters of Arcadian are divided into three tiers. Light, heavyweight, cruiserweight, and heavyweight. I'm lightweight. Wait, no, the tits. Cruiserweight. As a rookie, your campaign begins in the light heavyweight tier, where you will must defeat three rivals ranked therein. Goodness gracious me, I almost forgot to mention a most important thing, dramatic. The Arcadian has its own repository for fear of Fero's souls, which our fighters utilize in battle. Oh, I don't need that. So potent are these souls that they are the fighters' very forms. Lest you wonder, it's the potency of these souls employed that separates the championships' uh, three tiers. Okay, my one fucking thing that I'm gonna ask you, Arcadian, is get rid of that. Put those back into the ethereal sea, Jesus Christ. I don't want that strapped to my forehead, thanks. Now, I'm good to understand that you do not use a regulator. Even when you face the king, you did not rely on souls of any kind. That is most impressive indeed. Be that as it may, I it would be egregiously unfair for you to compete with not to balance the scales. No, 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 you see, I need the handicap. I need it. Here, the Arcadia Girls have souls for former champions in storage. You will use them to create allies to fight alongside you. Oh, it's like my Asm crystal that Emmett gave me and I just keep leaking whenever I need it. Make sure that you work with you and like a whale blood machine, we will draw upon your memories to fine tune their appearance and abilities to your liking. I do like that as being the reason why my friends can be here, but I don't love the soul thing. Endless. I'm not familiar with the term, but I assure you there is nothing untoward the technique we employ. It simply brings forth a temporary simulacrum. And for the purpose of evening the odds, I believe some of these simulacra should suffice. What do you think? All right, fine. So long as they get to go back to the ethereal sea if they die. Sorry uh, if anyone gets ganked in this one. Mm-hmm. I had expected you might harbor reservations about the use of souls. Those who hail from outside the barrier often do. Because it's wrong, you fucking red-headed potato. And so I have a proposal. An additional incentive, if you will. For each victory you claim, I shall release the souls of those who fought besides you. Okay. All right. You, my friend, shall be the star who brings fresh change to the Arcadian. That is reasonable. With that, I officially welcome you as a fighter to the Arcadian. When you are ready to take the arena, you need to say the word. Free us from this mortal coil, Lily. That's the plan. So there's good drip here, right? 
I love the the tournament art format. And I have a story incentive to do this, which is to set people free. Now, I shall introduce your first opponent. Pray look at the monitor. Are they hot? Lyra doesn't give bitches, she fights them. Yeah, girl. She's so cute! I can't read that! This here's Black Cat. Here is the claw in the dark. Oh, bitch. That's right, she's the one who took your measure earlier. While she's still a rookie herself, you'd be wise to not underestimate her. She has real talent that is expected to go far. Not when I'm invited. Her feral soul is Kaith Palug, a terrible feline said to have pushed a legendary hero to his limits. With its power, she becomes unimaginably nimble, and her very claws can rend steel. You'll need to keep your wits about you. I have my Tramum goal. My debut fight, baby, boo! We're using made-up names. My made-up name is like Asm. Don't think about it. Smash or pass on this cargo? Oh, smash. You guys have actually been hyping this up for a while, so I'm excited. I, so far, I like the setup for this. Hey, BB! Other cat thing. God, her good. Can I get that drape? It's fucking. Uh, look at my guitar. It's stupid as shit. Look at you guys! Why did all the souls that Lyria summoned look turn into dipshits? A rookie on the rise with razor sharp claw. Ooh. The ferocious feline. Love her. Eh, hey, baby! Oh, dude, she's hot. I'm gonna die because I'm looking at her. Ooh! Spanish! Ready to be ripped to shreds. Hi. Ah! Let's do it! Our challenger's first opponent, Black Cat. Can they hold their own against our feline ferocity? I love her! The music. Oh my god, that's so cool. Lily, you pulled! Fuck! I just wanted to see the butt up close. Ooh. Get that, see those more emos. I don't need your soul bullshit. I believe in fighting with my own two fucking little baby claws, bitch. The thing that you guys don't get is that, um, it's not me who needs the who needs the boost. You guys need my handicap. Try this. Oh, grind wave like some pepper! Well done! Biscuit Maker is still the best name for a tank bus driver. Really? Oh, the localization team must have fucking popped off with that. Here it comes. Black Cat's life and lethal maneuver. You're a life lethal maneuver. Oh! Oh! Yeah. I find. I like that he comments on everything. Like, he gave me shit for dying. I forgot to lower my volume. Rookie mistake. Eh, BB. Oh, yeah. With well, even like even without the feral soul, she's super hot. Oh shit! Everybody was kung fu fighting. Oh, wrong game. We're not playing Wukong right now. Oh, haha! -ha, arms length, bitch. Oh, we fixed the ring. It took us ten years. Look at the little paws. Ah. Oh. Oh shit, I'm alive! Spread out sluts, get slutty! We can do that! Is that, oh. We're alive! Oh, oh! We are living! Even I felt that one, oh! Grind wave! Grind wave! Grind wave! Pepper grind! I'm gonna just, yeah. Please stop destroying the arena! To me, echo of my soul. Fuck your soul. You stole it from a from a fiend. You didn't fall. I live, bitch! Oh no. Um Like what if I fall in the hole? I'm alive! Somehow. I live, bitch! Oh shit. Wait, why are you. Perello! Oh! 
Okay, okay, okay. Haha, <laughs> arm slang! I thought that if, like, you changed physically while using a regulator, you just stayed that way forever. I love this, though. It's such fun boss design. Patita! I kind of love the yeet mechanic. It's what genuinely the? funny. Looks like someone isn't holding back. Well, I have the power of the fucking sun and like 50 friends, so eat it. We're so close. Hit it with everything you have, damn shit. There we go. Eh, BB. Yeah, bitch. El Tamagotchi dice, I won. The match is decided. Victory goes to the challenger. Yeah, bitch! I get to say eight fuckers free. Yay! It's all over. Until next time. Yay! Commentator is the gimmick to these raids. He comments on you doing mechanics right, fucking them up, using LB, taking damage. Did you see that bit? That's really cool. Woo! She's fine. Bravo, bravo, you were simply magnificent out there. Thank you. The championship traces its roots to a time in Alexandria long before the coming of the Turali people. It was very different in the beginning, though, with matches pitting a recreated agency Malacra against each other. You guys were using souls for this? That's right, the very same that fought at your side, but with the advent of soul-derived resuscitation, battles to the death between living combatants became the norm. And all without any actual deaths. Ew! The contest evolved more after Zoralja was made king. It was he who proposed the use of feral souls to enhance one's flesh, leading to the technology for it being devised. So it was that combatants took on the power or likeness of beasts, and the audience expected newfound heights of excitement! Hmm. However, when Zoralja raised the banners of war to embark on his conquest, all feral souls were reserved for the, fam uh, for the army's use. We have no choice but to suspend our operations at the Arcadian. Can't you guys just fight, like, normal people? Did you see how the audience roared when you, the upstart challenger, triumphed over a rising rookie? You have captured their imaginations, and I hope that you will continue to do so. I mean, I've, I hope I captured their imaginations. I have a fat cat girl ass, so there you go. Oh, hello. Ugh, I can't believe I lost someone who wasn't even using a feral soul. What are you? Do you really want me to answer that question? <laughs> I love your drip. Damn it all, I can't leave things like this. Hi. Would you mind if I watch you for a while? Don't worry, I don't have any hard feelings. I'm just curious, that's all, about what you can do. <gasps> you wanna go have a pineapple? We have a bestie! Hi! Uh, God, her eyes are actually gorgeous. She's not a new hire, she's a new bestie. She's shorter than me, finally! Ah, ah, ah. I think I have heels. Stop looking at me like that, please. It's making me feel things. Please stop being gay in my direction, I can't handle it. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna be watching you quietly, okay. Who's the bottom between Lyria and Lyria and Black Cat? Oh, Lyria's bottom always. Now kiss! Sweet poison. Allow me to introduce your next opponent. Oh, she is the bee! God, she's serving Bumble. This is Honey Bee Lovely, the darling of the Arcadian. As you can doubtless guess, she utilizes the soul of a bee. An extremely venomous one at that. Oh. But rather than her poison, you should be wary of her ability to charm all before her. What? In addition to her winsome charm, which serves her as well as a songstress, she can produce pheromones of a queen bee to enthrall even her foes. Those who fall under her spell delight in the torment that she unleashes upon them. Oh, <gasps> oh no, this is Lyria's natural enemy. Oh no. No! Oh, no the in short, there's nothing lovely about her. Despite what she might claim, you're in for a bad time. No, I really am. Lyria's like the fucking most subbiest thing on the planet, and cats are like duber horny, which is not a good thing. Lily, don't hurt our bee. Oh, she take a dive. Thanks so much Jakey for the super Lily. chat. I won't hurt her more than I need to. <laughs> oh my god, that's horrific. I love her drip too. It's so cute. Can I have that one? Oh my god, is that why the audience looks like that? Hi. 
Hello. The best thing is that they have human forms too. Oh my god! Why? Why are you guys like this? Chat! This starlet with a sting. The adorable, but deadly. Sweet, but poisonous. Honey, be lovely! Oh, hi, I'm gay. Hi, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hi, gay, hi. Yeah, hi, I'm... Mm. Oh, my God, she's so cute. Why are you guys dressed? I don't get a... I don't have a... Be wave, wave, wave. Come the fuck on. I like that JC's the only one who's, like, still taking it serious. <laughs> Tanks, whenever you're ready, let's go. She's so cool. The honeybee lovely show has begun. Oh god. Let's put on a lovely show for the audience. Mm. Oh, her voice is perfect. Snatch her pass, let me go. Oh, smash. Violent smash. Oh, she has the southern draw. Oh, I'm so gay. Five dollars to honeybee lovely. Thank you, Maverick, for the vid. Uh oh. Oh, she has a southern drawl. She's a dom. It's B coded. Dude. This is Lyria's natural enemy, truly. <laughs> Hope you're ready for me to steal your heart. I love her. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, she's definitely feeling your love. No. This is bad for cat people! Oh, get slutty. Literally. Oh, that's not good. Ah! Oh, shit. No! Ah! I don't- I don't want to be head over heels for- oh! Oh, shit, I fucked up. Thank you! Sipping for the bee! I'll make you mine. No! No, I have a cat boyfriend! Emmett itself is in hell laughing at me right now. Is everyone having a good time? Yes, very much! When did you become the streamer? Eat it! This is why Emmett itself told you to go to Tarao for this one prank. Oh yeah. God, the design for this oh, boss well, is nice bee! To make it interesting. That's so cute! Uh oh. Dude, I love. Oh, get slutty, get slutty! Here comes our fearsome venom strike! No hard feelings if I kill you? No. Literally not, and you're fine. <laughs> I do not care. The bisexual menace is feeling things. Oh god! Grind it, grind it! What? Are you kidding me? It didn't work? Oh, the accent is peak chat. B is for bitch! What's this? Honeybee has changed her routine. Oh no, she got mad and someone simps. B is for both of No! Nos callamos la bocota, gracias. He's gonna steal your subscribers. No! I need them! Ooh, oh, I love her accent. Dude. Dude, she's serving like the craziest ever. It's so good. Are we all alive, by the way? Oh, Ark, you're so close to death. Oh. Ah! Not me, bitch. Thankfully, this is a menace on the battlefield. Not that real bottom bottom. Guys, remember when I stacked two stacks on top of each other like this and everybody died? I love this so much. No, she needs more. Ah! Don't let it touch you. Don't let it touch you. You're gonna get super horny. No, no, no. Means the world to me, everyone. I love her. 
Whoa. Dude, the outfit is so cute. You can't catch me, gay fuck. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the battlefield, which means that the gay fucks can't affect me. Fuck you. B is for break you to a planet B is for bitch. Oh, baby. Oh, tits. Oh, tits. Oh, cheat cheese. Cheat cheese. Cheat cheese. How am I alive? Oh. I'm alive. Somehow, I'm alive. D uh, barely. Oh, we lost a healer. Wave, whenever you have a second, uh, bring stories back to. Whoops. Life. <laughs> We're alive! I still have a. I have an LB3, bitch. Oh, can everybody grind me like some pepper, please? Or wave? Yeah, we're not losing wave. If we lose wave, we're in trouble. We're in big trouble. Oh my god. Wave, heal. Heal, heal. Oh, there you go. All right. Time to throw everything we have at it. We're literally at a sliver of health. Uh, bitchachos. Let's do it. Avengers, go. Pop off. Destroy. Saquen el rey y denle en la madre, por favor. Gracias. Have you guys ever seen those videos of people killing uh, wasps with gasoline? Yeah, that. Your pheromone bullshit can't affect me! God, she's so cute, though. Eat it, bitch. Can I steal her sweater? I kind of really want it. Thanks so much for the follow! Decided. Victory goes to the challenger! And Leary had dabs on stage. In Savage gets ma if someone in Savage, if someone gets maxed out on heart, they get she gets a damage buff and it heals 1% of her HP up to 8 stacks. Oh! No. I wasn't healing. Also check DMs. Oh! What it's bullshit did you send me? Hold Until on. Next time. Oh, I was healing that one. God damn it! Oh yeah, your names both start with a T. Thank you, BJ. Look at- Stop teabagging her! Ark. Ark. Stop it. Your outfit is so cute, by the way. That's so adorable. It's so slutty! Wave. Can you explain your outfit to me, please? Like, you- Did you have to go out of your way to pick, like, literally the sluttiest strip you could? You have the tubey slops on. <gasps> Ark, no. Ark! Bad. Ark or- Ark or BJ? Which one is it? No, this is BJ. BJ's serious. Ark is the one that's fucking uh, doing push-ups on Honeybee Lovely. <laughs> I think they actually managed to take Honeybee down. You're the real deal. What? What did you send me? That would, uh, yes. Perfect. Perfect. That's literally me. Hold on. Wave sent me a thing. Fucking 10 out of 10. Yeah, I would. I, I absolutely would. Look at, look at, look, look, look at, look at JT. <laughs> I would absolutely, yeah, no, I would steal this outfit for myself. It's so cute. Ark and JC are, look at all the, look at them all in the crowd. That's so cute. It just fucking necromorph with glow sticks. That's fucking precious wave. Thank you. That's so cute. Oh yeah. Shout out to Kaze for uh, making this. Thank you so much. That It looks amazing. Thank you. With this victory, you're not eligible to challenge the reigning champion of the he light heavyweight division. And as eager as I am to see you claim the crown, it will take some time to make arrangements for the match. While you wait, it's why not find yourself a second? That is, someone who supports you by gathering information on your opponents and giving advice on your training. Wait, if she needs a second, then please let me do it. Uh, yes. You won't regret this. Now, if I'm to be your second, you ought to know my real name. I'm Yana. I look forward to working together. She's so cute. But yeah, this is actually lower stakes than the story for Dawn Trail. We're not saving the world. We're just fighting fights for fun and saving souls while we're at it. <gasps> a baby Miko! I love baby Mikos! No one should compete for Lyria's affection. It's a dangerous game because she's a bottom. Hey, aren't you Lyria, the fighter who doesn't use a regulator? Yeah. To not only fight, but win without using a feral soul. You're absolutely amazing. I'll be cheering you from now on. Oh, thank you. I've been your biggest fan ever since. You will win your next match too. I just know it. Oh my God, I'm getting flustered. Why are they being sweet to me? Lyria on the inside, screaming. Your heartless fiend. How dare you embarrass our sweet honeybee like that? I hate you. Hate her, bitch. Enjoy this feeling while you can, new blood. You'll be begging for mercy on your next match. Eh, hey, BBE. Ella's a neck. Do, do excuse me. I'm something of a storyteller, and I have a keen interest in seeing how this championship unfolds. I love his drip. Can I get Emmett in that shirt? 
I need a screenshot. Hold on. Never mind. I have a VOD. Don't fucking monk as me. It's fine. I'm recording this. Wait, you're a black cat. What are you doing keeping company with the last who just beat you? Um, black cat, have you seen her tits? That's probably why you lost. You don't have any pride. Hmm. I'd much rather watch your sister fight. Nobody put on a show like the Wicked, Th like Wicked Thunder. This is never ending. Let's get out of here. Black cat, have you seen the tits? Kitty run! Now you have sims. I don't know how to feel about this information. How much do we bench? <gasps> um, bebe! <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, miss. My name is Nayuni. Thank you very much for looking after my sister. Are you Wicked Thunder? Thank you here for knocking me out, are you? Anyway. Oh my god, the little baby tail was... Ah! I have two sisters, and though they're gone now, our parents were originally from Tural. Truth be told, I became interested in you because you reminded me of our parents. Like them, you're adverse to using souls. Oh, I could tell you stories. We, on the other hand, don't see such a problem with the practice, so at our sister's urging, we started wearing regulators after mother and father died. It's only because we weren't wearing regulators when they passed on that we soon still remember them. Whether they were better or worse for it, uh, I can't say. I was too little to understand when it happened, but I've heard the story from my sisters, so when I see you fight, I can't help but feel anxious. Susurakototas! Lyria, I say this knowing your stance, but won't you consider wearing your regular in matches? No! I'm afraid you can't change people's minds when it comes to soul use, Nayuni. It's a question of culture and upbringing, and also I've seen what fucking using up souls can do to fucking a fucking planet. No. We should celebrate! You've won two championship matches now, Lyria. This calls for drinks! <gasps> Drunk sex! Go put the baby Miko in a different room. We've only got energy tonics, but it's a gesture that sounds right. Okay, no drunk sex. Uh, here, color is sex, though. It could be for a loco. Oh, dude. Takikardia. You're celebrating even though you lost. I love baby Mikos. They're so precious. Chug it! Chug it! Chug it! Chug it! Until you can fucking, uh, hear colors. Dude, it's so much cuter because I'm doing this as a cat. So after that delightful fan set outside earlier, I imagine you're curious about my sister. Yes. Her name is Utrope, and she's rose to be a top contender in the heavyweight division. She became a fighter to look after me in a uni first and foremost, but turns out she was great at it. Es una rata. Una ratita. <gasps> oh, she's gorgeous. Wicked Thunder was her ring name. She harnessed the Levis, uh, Levin Seed's soul in conjunction with Electro, but she could shapeshift to adapt her, to her enemies in battle. The thing is, she just disappeared one day without saying a word to us. She was so close to being immortalized, too. How what now? Right, you wouldn't know. All Arcadian fighters retire young. Feral soul transfiguration is too much of a burden on the body. Those who fight to the age of 20 are immortalized in the Ascension Arcadia Hall of Fame. This come with the privilege of moving into a luxury residence on Everkeep's upper level, where they can live out their days in comfort. You trope full all of that away when she vanished. I just can't wrap my head around why. Cause it's fucking soil it green as people. But that's enough reminiscent for now. It can't be long now before your next match, so let's head back to the Arcadian. I love my new cat bestie! Good luck, Lyria, and please be careful. I will, small thing. Cute! Just to let you know, Lily, we have been planning the outfit joke since the moment the Arcadian was released, pretty much. No, I, you guys you guys have done this before. When we played uh, Shadowbringers, the last fight in Shadowbringers, like Hades, like uh, Daddy Hades, uh, everybody showed up in their ancient robes. Here we go, Lyria. I'll do my best to support you as your second. You are so fucking cute, baby. If you win this next fight, you'll become a champion of the light heavyweight division. Let's give it everything we've got. Right, let's take a look at your opponent. Is it the one that I like? The one that I was like, yeah. Oh yeah! Rhyme time, baby! Dixon! That there, I regret to say, is the reigning light heavyweight champion, Brute Bomber. Oh hell yeah! He uses the might of the Bomb King to ignite all that he touches, but that'll be the least of your worries. He's a dirty fighter who'll do anything and everything to win. Rules by damned, countless of his opponents have been, have been carried to the infirmary. Under 20, by the way. Yeah, how the fuck?! It's like the Mob Psycho 100 Fitness uh, Body Improvement Club middle schoolers. <laughs> Now go and blast that loathsome law allow out of his own ring and come back here, the new champion. Dude, how can I not when she's rooting for me like that? You stole us 28, not all. Oh, we have a cage, cage fights. 
Dude, the outfit is everything. I can see Wave wearing this in some shade of pink. Dude, thank God for the graphical update. That lighting would have fucked my face up before, uh, before Dawn Trail. Tonight, he explodes in the ring once more. The man you love to oh my hate God, I hate a that. fiery passion, the Brute Baba! Oh, shit. That looks like ass. Look at his fucking dress. Kaka. Solid way, bold. Yeah. Is that a bold? Well, yeah. Look at us. All right, tanks, whenever you're ready, let's have ourselves a good one. And try not to die. Pull, baby! Pull! Let's do it! The fruit bomber has muscled his way into the ring! I've muscled my way into everyone's heart! Go to Wings for. Thank you for the super chat! I sure fucking will, baby! Oh! Oh! I hear tank buster noises. Even I felt that one. Oh, but the challenge is still standing. I am alive. How can I get the flame ring that Warrior has on his back? It looks sick. Uh, I'm gonna ask Jacy. I'm pretty sure it's a fashion accessory, though. Die. By the way, I heard that the new mounts for this expansion were wings. How do I get them? <laughs> Smash or pass from the brute bomber. Pass. I don't like two faces. What does this do? <gasps> ah, chichis. Muevanse! Muevanse! You should know that I have a short fuse! And I have a long tail, what's the problem? Oh! Pro tip, don't get hit, eh, BB? Like we have this is a cage match chat. <laughs> Don't mind me. Throat's a bit parched. What are you drinking? Oh, he's doing Roy's Mitch match. That shouldn't be allowed. He doesn't care. Away, Tim Can. Sir, we saw those Roy's! He just assaulted the referee! Sir! Sir! You can't inject shit between your toes in the middle of a match! We're doing something here! Oh! How is he allowed to be in here? You, I know, right? Oh! Brian it! Brian wave like some pepper! What kind of pepper? Finally ground. Oh. Die. Habane habanero. It's not pepper the spice. It's pepper the um the fruit. Oh, chinga. Wait, I'm gonna go in. Okay. Okay. Kitino's morimos. You guys are doing great! I love my Avengers! Get on it! Good job! Oh, shit. We're alive and that's what counts! Go, 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 go! Bad damage, let's do it! Healers run him like a surfer! No, healer, no! All right, move, move, move! Well done! Yeah. A vicious blow! Oh, that'll leave a mark. Good job, good job! Little bit more, chat! We can do it! Hell yeah! Oh, guys, guys, move, move, move! Go, go, go! Oh, shit. Ah! 
shit. Okay. Oh, god damn it. That's three for three, baby boo. Can I get a res, please? Thank you. Really? A, a fucking stack immediately? I should not have moved. Uh, thank you. Guys, healers, can I like, please res me? Thank you. <laughs> what? Ah, looks like someone isn't holding back. Thank you. I'm not gonna move. Oh, God. Okay, okay, no. We're down to the last little baby bit. All right, throw the chair at it, chat. Throw, go, WWE on his ass. Go, 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 go. Wave, give me the gayest wrestling move you know of. Go. Oh, grind, grind wave, grind wave. Terreno, muy bien. So close, come on, come on. Yeah, wave, woohoo, good job. I'm sorry that I died twice. And I needed resing exactly twice. Thank you. Toma, wey. Oh, the referee is back. The match is decided. Victory goes to the challenger. Ah, huevo. Oh. Why are they calling it lightweight class when, like, the weight doesn't actually matter? His enraged and savage is him yeah, jumping from the top rope and killing you all. It's all over. Until next time. So far, this has been so fucking cute. What would your name be as a luchador or wrestler? That's a good question, actually. El Kinkinator! You did it! You really did it! Even though you beat me, I'm absolutely over the moon for you. I'm over the moon for you. It's truly astonishing that you can do this without a feral soul. I am a feral soul. With this, you're now one of the light heavyweight champions. Congratulations, Lyria! Now, there's going to be a ceremony to officially crown you champion. All and sundry will be watching, so make sure you wear something you won't regret. I'm- you mean this? I look so cute! Kikinator! My fellow citizens, we are gathered to recognize a new champion in the Arcadian, a rising star who shot to the top of the light heavyweight division at breakneck speed. Without further ado, please give a warm welcome to the woman of the hour! Tits, tits! The unstoppable upstart, the underhands, but unbeatable, the one and only Lyria Kiki Beshon is the cat! The tits have arrived. Dress well, Lyria just unzips her jacket. If you, look, dude, she would be having like the biggest douchebag moment on the planet. Lighting is dicks. I love your art. Thank you! Go over it, bitch. Hold it right there. Oh. She reflects light, my god. Quite. Your victory was a farce and I refuse to accept it. Why? Oh my, your previous brute bombers unsatisfied with the outcome of this match. I don't have my weapon on me right now. You fought with the eight of you. How is that fair? Let's settle this one on one. Just you and me. All right, let's do it. Please, no cutscene rule. Wow, uh, what a saucy bitch. You want to talk about fair? It's supposed to be a one on one fight without your bloody bomb king. No, no, the, this is actually content. Shut your mouths. I make the rules here. It's content. Oh. I was gonna shoot him. What in the world just happened? Uh. But my crown. Oh, <gasps> cat. Hello. Dude, that outfit is sick. <gasps> I need it. You trope. I don't believe it! Wicked Thunder, the heavyweight fighter who suddenly vanished, has returned! Dude, that outfit is sick. 
I will have your soul. Prepare yourself. You can have my everything. Do you want them? Unzip's jacket. Do you want the here? What is this? Wicked Thunder has just challenged the unstoppable upstart. At last, as much as I wish to bear witness to their clash, Wicked Thunder's license was revoked upon her disappearance. I am unable to sanction such a match. No, no, it's fine. Intriguing. Most intriguing. This voice! It's the president! Is that the minstrel Elizen we found outside? Because it might be. I allow a special exhibition match. Prepare Wicked Thunder's ring and prepare yourself. Upstart. You heard it, folks! By permission of the president, a match will be held. The will emerge the victor. Neoteric witch or the unenhanced warrior? D that lame name. Lame. Thunder tits. I prefer thunder tits. That would at least be have a bit of a. No, she would hate that name. This is an event you can only afford to miss. I want her to pin me, to be honest. We're the Avengers. Minimum item level means five more minutes. We're all at the same level, chat. So, Yana, how do you feel? Oh, Irata. You trope. Thanks so much for the follow. Where have you been? Where have you come back now? Emotional damage. I'm sorry. It's just I wasn't prepared to see my sister like that. It's a shame your big moment was spoiled, but now that the match has been decided, there's nothing to do but prepare. As a former heavyweight fighter, you trope's more than a cut above everyone you've faced thus far. Even so, having seen how quickly you've climbed up the ranks to become champion, I reckon you're far from overmatched. As Nayuni mentioned, uh, Utrope, or rather, Wicked Thunder, harnesses the living seed soul for, and employs Electrope in battle. Her rings are recreation of an imaginary city designed to allow her full use of her powers. Her bouts are notoriously dangerous, that there isn't even a seating for spectators. Oh. And while she's my sister, I'm your second. So you go out there, Lyria, and you win this. I... Love her. Yana, Yana, god. Pink thing cat with like the most beautiful eyes and like fucking pouty BJ lips and pink hair and the best drip in the universe. I love her. This is turning into Amico de Tenovela. Yeah! Banger time. I'm turning the volume up a little bit. Ooh! Dude, she's so cute. I love her hair color. Also, the drip is magnif ma magnificent. I love it so much. It's so pretty. She's a witch for a new age, the wondrous Wicked Thunder! Hold on, the triangle is... Oh, dude. Yeah, no. Yeah, hi. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what? Before we start, just... Wood. How come every bitch in this fucking raid series is like, oh, we are doing this at minimum item level? Tanks, whenever you're ready. Ready to go? Let's fucking do it to it, chat! I must have your soul. What do you need my soul for? I have like nine of people in here. I am the sun! There is no limit to electric potential. Her voice is so good. Move, 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 move. Keep it moving, chat! Let's go, let's go! I have many souls because I consume them, so I'm good. I would smash. All the girls in this raid series have been amazing. Has many you have the souls of like nine youths inside of you. Pretty juicy, proven soul standards. Eh, hey, baby! Ah! Easy does more emotes! Oh! Okay. Regular or diet soul? Oh shit. I guess regular. You want some chomp? Thanks for the res wave. I don't even know how that happened. Okay, I'm not, I'm no, no, I'm deck. Ah! Alright, the arena's back. I can go back to like fucking moving around. Ah! Good job! I tanked if all of it! Needs wings, one needs simply you drop it! 
His great wings! Ha! A wickedly divine! <laughs> My favorite type of game, I like platformers. I become an absolute goblin. Orale! Oh, chinga! Muevanse! Muevanse! Hi! Why did you rescue me? I was fine! Oh. I'm not dead! Again. Tell you to calm down or scream louder. I'm in it for the long haul, baby boo. I'm a scream. You are about to become glue, really. Oh. You see those money moss? How we doing, guys? We good? Yeah, we're good. Dude, what a cool, what a cool series of raids. I love this. I'm enjoying myself! That's what I'm fucking talking about, chat. This is the fucking Primo Pavarino 14 content I signed up for. Have I died? Yes! But it's so fun. Everyone's pretty and the glam is nice. Please don't use primals for feral souls. That's a terrible idea. Like, isn't it safer to just stay underneath the booty? Slutty! Get slutty! Alright, the arena's back! Stack it! Super stack it! This is only the first set of fights. I can't wait for the next. I'm so excited. But that one's gonna be in like six months! Okay, estamos a mediados de septiembre. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, I made a mistake. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Oh. Beautifully, George. Oh, get away! waiting well. Usually these patches come with a mesquite and they're a good time, so... Yay. It's to give or, uh, or take a week for summer slash winter break for the devs. I'm pretty sure that the... Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, Chi Chi's... Go for it, yeah. I love Fenner. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not moving. It, but for how long? Oh! Look, look, I play 14. I never oh, said I would be good at it. Ah, oh, choo choo. It's okay, though, because I have plenty of shit to do in 14 while I wait. All the crafting and all the gathering and mount hunting and extremes! I need to have hunt for mount. So when it comes to 14, I genuinely take my time, for the most part, so... Oh! We're at, like, the last sliver of health, so... Uh, oh! Avengers, just hit it with everything you have. Okay. Uh, is that two stats? Oh, shit! I see it, cabron! Dale, wey! I cannot! I must not lose! We're fine. If your healers are not on top of it, you will die here. Oh, my healers are the tippy top. Thanks for the sub of the activity. I don't know, uh, but I definitely like a lot of the designs for uh, uh, enemies in this game. Also, Yana's so cute. It gives, she gives Lyria gay panic. We're so close, chat. I did like the designs for the Arcadian people. Oh! Should we like, oh shit. Ah! 
Just a little bit more! Throw everything you have at it, guys! Damn it. No choice but to withdraw. The thing that has me so excited is imagining what monster girls and guys we'll be getting. Carbuncle girls. In a girls, shocking turn of events, girls. Wicked Thunder has split. Thanks so much for the super chat. Yeah, who knows? The, the designs for the Victoria's. bosses have been amazing so far. She dipped! So she's determined. She wants my soul, huh? Can I get my crown now? It's all over. You've ended the cyber, uh, spicy I don't mind at all. I'm completely cool with people making spicy art of Lily Goth, uh, because I see it as a separate character, and also because I've made spicy art of Lily Goth, so yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> the reason I want you to do it Mina Mata level is that it's high enough gear, you can skip the whole mini the minimum uh, end rage phase, and I think it deserves to be seen. No, yeah, that's so good. Yeah, like, since I've made spicy art of Lily Goth, I don't mind it. Yay! Wave, you stole my cat, you piece of shit! Now you're gonna have to run it with me! All right, get up. I really, really, really like this raid so far. Holy shit, that's so fun! Yeah, the wall is already got to your power. I'm relieved you're unharmed, Liriab, but what a shock it was to see you trope again, and in that manner. Oh! Speaking of which... Hi. Dude, her drip is fucking flawless. What are you doing here? I'm chatting shit with my new girlfriend. What do you want? Well, no matter. I'm not here to fight you, but to talk to my sisters. Good, because we have a mountain of questions for you. Why did you disappear without a word? What exactly have you been doing all this time? Her claws. I'll explain everything in due course, but if you want to live, Yana, you need to give up fighting right now. What? Why? Because if you repeatedly transfigure your flesh with a feral soul, you'll eventually develop psychokinrosis, an irreversible disease where your own soul degrades. Well, yeah, why do you think I haven't been doing it? Once it's begun, it's too late. All you can do is await death, like me. That, th this can't be true. I knew that there were risks, but isn't that why fighters are immortalized? So we can get out before it's too late? No, they die. Yana, have you ever met one of the immortalized? No, because they're dead! The life of comfort promised in retirement is just a lie of woven to exploit us and cover up our deaths. Ooh. But I remember them all. How can that be if they're dead? Rather than go to new homes, the fighters are taken to a secret facility. Their regulators are removed, and then they're kept in confinement until they die. Ooh! Without their regulators fitted, Everkeep's systems have no way of detecting their death, nor of preserving their memory. I noticed changes to my body, so I decided to seek the counsel of the immortalized, and when I snuck into the president's office to ascertain their whereabouts, I discovered the sordid truth. <gasps> oh, it is like the glitz pit! I feared I would become another victim, if I remained, so I disappeared and began searching for a cure of the to the illness. It's probably lightning expected ether sickness. Did you find one? In theory, the remedy is another person's soul, but an ordinary one won't do. It has to be surpri surprisingly dense. Oh! Um, well, like yours. I bear you no ill will, but you're my only hope of survival. No. Rather than ambush you in the city and cause a disturbance, I challenge you in the ring. Certain I would claim my prize. I'm a god killer, my guy. Next time, I will have your soul. I'm not giving it. Wait, you trope, even if it's to save yourself, you can't just take the souls of another. It, it isn't right. What have you people been doing all this time? It's easy for you to say. You don't have to live with the knowledge that every single moment your soul is being eaten away. Whose fault is it? <gasps> La Papa. Forgive my intrusion, I'd come to see how you were faring after your sister's sudden appearance, but I fear I've overheard something most distressing. So, you didn't know either, despite your position in the ascension of Arcadia? 
Had I known I assure you, I would not commendate with such enthusiasm. If it was, I was in, if it was in the belief that our fighters were safe, that I enjoyed my work. Ay, rata. No, he's lying. Es una lala. Es, un, es una papa. There's only one thing to do. We make this truth public and stop the fights. I don't want anyone else to suffer. Oh, no. That's the worst thing you could possibly do. The president shows no mercy to those who get in his way. Should we go public with the secret? No one would be safe. Not you or me or any of the fighters. That Eutrope has kept silent, I suspect, is because she understood this. I suppose you're right. In hindsight, it's because he's such a ruthless man that he could cover up the disease. I believe that we have, what, one recourse. Lyria, you must write to the very summit of the Arcadian and become the Grand Champion. I'm already doing it to set the souls free. You see, the Grand Champion's granted access to all the souls in our repository. While it would not be the intended purpose for this privilege, you could e be at liberty to release them. Oh, bet. Do it. Thus, by getting rid of all the feral souls left, the fighters will no longer be at risk. With the skill that you've displayed thus far, I have faith that you can do this. I was gonna get them rid of them all anyway. Good, good. Now, if you'll excuse- uh, if you garner suspicion, I linger too long, so I shall take my leave, if you'll excuse me. Adios, papita! As you'll recall, I can fight- I can't fight in any matches for a while, and given what I know now, I, it's just as well. But I'll, of course, continue to support you as best as I can. At the same time, Nayuni and I will undertake our own search for a cure for uh, psychokinrosis. There has to be a way to save our sister without sacrificing you, or anyone else for that matter. It's cute that you think that I would allow that to happen, Yana, but I love you. This feels like a life lesson about how performance-enhancing drugs are bad. No roids! The roid rage will give you brainrot.com.org. It's super dark that they made a blood sport where teenagers kill each other and get super cancer for the amusement dude, of the general public. Dude, I want public. that outfit! Look at that drip. Can I get that? Ooh. Oh, <gasps> dude, that outfit's hella gay. I love it. Do you understand why everybody wanted to do our cardio now? Cute drip, good waifus, fun story? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> 